Well, much better in the second half, needless to say. Uh, you know, we just, I guess we came out, obviously started off pretty hot. I think we had 12 points in the first four minutes. Um, you know, and whether or not we just got complacent with the lead or, or what, I'm not sure. But nonetheless, we came out, uh, responded in the second half, played global defense, held them to, uh, you know, I think it's 30% in the second half, 31 overall for the game. So second half was much better, much better. Uh, you know, we focal point lead into this game, which we didn't do a good job of against Seton Hall, was get the ball inside. You know, uh, get it inside to Ray, on us, post it up, or get the ball inside off the bounce, and, and so on and so forth. And obviously we did a much better job with that, you can see, off of uh, honest and Ray's numbers. So, you know, please, please with the win, first and foremost, always goes uh, without saying. Uh, got things we need to improve on, obviously, just got to continue to work. But overall, please with the win, and uh, just we'll take it and move on and get ready for Saturday. What changed there? It was 48-47, I think. What changed? You went on that 18 home. You know, we had a good defensive lineup in there. Um, they just kind of got us going. You know, it just we got some deflections. Ray, obviously, I don't know how many he ended up with, but he was very active on the defensive end. Honest, obviously, did a pretty remarkable job of protecting the rim. Uh, you know, we just we got stops, and we did a much better job of limiting them to one shot. You know, he, they had 18 offensive rebounds. I think 10 of them were in the first half. So, um, you know, we just we did a good job of. of Getting stops and then getting out on the break, got a couple easy ones, and um, you know we didn't turn the ball over. You know we only had five in the second half, so you know when, when, when we don't turn the ball over and we can move and play and shove the ball, we, we look pretty good on offense. So uh, some things we can certainly build on. Dave Darius, uh, Darius was in that lineup and kind of gave you a spark defensively. Yeah, he, you know, he hounds the ball. He's got quickness we haven't had here in a long time. Uh, it's tough for opposing players to go by him. Um, you know, we, we just we did a good job. We were communicating. We were active. Uh, we just played with a little bit more of a sense of urgency than we did in the first half. So, uh, you know, Darius, when he comes to the game, that's going to be his job this year is to spark us on defense. And, you know, he had, he had some turnovers, uh, just careless, but we'll continue to work on that, you know. Um, but if he, if he doesn't let that affect his defense, which for the most part he did, that's a good sign. Yeah, speaking of turnovers, you guys had 11 in the first half, 5 in the second half, a total of 16. What did you guys do at that halftime to kind of keep those turnovers down? You know, we just, I told him, I said, look, it's, and you got to give Sienna credit. I mean, they were aggressive with slapping down at the ball, trying to take the ball out of our hands, uh, probably because they've seen that we've struggled with that. So, you know, I just told him, I said, you guys got to be stronger with the ball. I said, you know, just when you get in there, come to a jump stop and just be strong with the ball. You know, just be strong with the ball. They're going to slap down. Just don't be in a hurry. Sometimes I think we get a little bit rushed maybe on offense and we just try to make the play before letting it come to us. But, uh, you know, it's just valuing the basketball. I mean, you just got to treat every single possession like it's the most important possession of the year, and, and we did a good job of that. It seemed like uh, Ray did more of his damage working from maybe the mid post or closer to the free throw line attacking off the bounce. Is that something that he's maybe looking to do to get himself going offensively? Well, they played a lot of zone. So, um, you know, you're not going to just bring the ball over to the wing and throw it inside against the zone. Uh, you know. We did a good job of getting those guys the ball in there. Even dang, a couple of times we got the ball in there. He made a good pass, um, but it, you know it was just a matter of them reading the defense, get the ball in there, look around, see what's going on, and then just attacking the rim. You know that was the big thing. Was just we got to try to attack the rim, just be aggressive. Um, they didn't have much of a, a shot blocking presence, so we just got to try to attack the rim, and they did a pretty good job of that. You guys were getting that rebound there for a while. Were you, were you feel like you were getting out scrapped, or they were out positioning you, or what was happening? Yeah, I mean they play hard. I mean you know. Jimmy Sims have always played hard, and this one's no different. I mean, uh, you know, Sammy Friday for them, number 35, I mean, they, they 15 rebounds, 10 of them offensive, you know. And a couple times it was us, somebody would come over to block the shot, and we would rotate properly to try to rebound. So, uh, but, you know, you got to give them a lot of credit. They were playing hard, um, but, you know, we just, we got to be more active. You know, I think a couple times our guards were maybe leaking out. I'm not sure I'll have to go look at the film, but, um, you know, we just gotta, it's got to be a team rebounding effort. We can't, even though Ray and Honest had 23 between the two of them, it's got to be a team rebounding effort. You know, Dwayne and Jordan coming in and giving us 10 between the two of them. Malik comes in and gives us four. So it's got to be everybody's got to have that mindset of rebounding the ball. Hey, did you have any uh, sense that Honest was that close to a triple-double? Now, uh, somebody, Kenny said something when he came out of the game. And, you know, it, it's a remarkable <laughs> achievement to have nine in a game. But, you know, the only stat we're interested is in interested in is the final score. So, I mean, I wasn't going to put him back in the game just to try to get a triple-double, but, um, you know, it's <laughs> maybe I'm just too hard on the kid, but as well as he played, I actually didn't think he played that great in the game. I mean, you guys are going to think I'm crazy for saying that, but um, he was obviously much better in the second half, but just things that 
maybe it's because I play his position and I just get frustrated with it. But uh, you know, he's obviously very valuable to our team. How, how important is it that I stay aggressive? He had success tonight, 17 points, for him to continue to look to shoot the ball. Yeah, I mean, he just, you know, he missed a couple easier ones, but he was active on the offensive backboard. I mean, he had four offensive rebounds. He had a follow dunk. So he just, he was active um, both ends of the court. So, you know, when he gets the ball in the middle of the zone, he obviously is, is the best passing big man that we have. Not that the other guys aren't, but he's just a little bit better. And, you know, he just, he has a good feel for the game. He lets it come to him. And, um, you know, we just got to continue to work on, on being aggressive around the rim. You were considered a good passing big man. Do you see some of yourself in him the way he plays? He's a much better athlete, much better shot blocker. I wasn't my best day, but uh, <laughs> you know, no, he. In you know, people say, well, you know, honest. I've taught honest how to pass. No, that's not true. He honest just has a natural feel for how to play basketball. You know, I can tell him things once in a while, but at the end of the day, he just has a good feel for how to play the game. And it just comes naturally to him. So. You know, we just got to continue to work a couple times. You know, I'm not pleased with his four turnovers, and he knows that. But just being stronger with the ball. Um, but again, we just it, it, we did a much better job in the second half of taking care of the ball, which in turn leads to better passing and better shooting. How do you think this will help Q's confidence shooting the ball? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it was only a matter of time before Q shot the ball better. Uh, you know, he, he just, I don't even want to call it a slump, he just wasn't making shots. And the only way to get out of that is to continue to shoot the ball. So. You know, he just he did a great job of running the team. I thought defensively he was he was pretty darn good. I mean, I don't think he got beat off the dribble too much. Um, you know, and he just he's so valuable to our team on both ends of the court. And uh, you know, he he did a good job of running the team, which you you would expect out of your your senior point guard. Anything else for David? Thank you, David, guys. Thank you.